So in body black market news submitted by Turn the AC On, the FBI found bodies sewn together like Frankenstein at a body donation facility. Whoa! What's a body donation facility and why are they doing that? So this facility, it's part of this crazy... Like black market? It's not necessarily black market even though we titled it that. Um, it's like a legal thing where people can sign up to these research centers to donate their body to science when oh, they die, okay. and then they offer to cremate you for free. We're talking about specifically this Arizona-based Biological Resource Center, and that's that's called the BRC, and they are saying that they targeted a lot of low-income people because they, they were- can't afford the funeral. Exactly, they can't afford a funeral. They were just trying to get as much body parts as they can, and what they were not being clear about is the fact that they profit off of these bodies instead of oh, you thinking like you know if I'm dying I want oh. to, to go to science money. yeah but instead they're making money off of your body How do they make money off of it sell it on the black market sell it well, so people can eat it so people can do all kinds of shit they can take your finger and turn it into a pencil sharpener and shit <gasps> for some rich dude who has like a rhino head on his wall they haven't used the term black market it's just that they are they are selling these body parts to other like medical training programs or research facilities. Oh, that sucks. That's Which legal is, though, right? Because yeah, that's yeah. science based. Exactly. So that's. But they're not disclosing it to the that's people. That's the part that. So they're making out. profit because it's they the people go in with the th thinking that it's going to be nonprofit or used for science. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also one of these cases too, they were saying that there was this little box that if you check that box and that means you are consenting for your body to be used for military experiments, and there were these two cases where these men did not want their bodies to be used and so they specifically did not check that box but then once they had died they didn't give a fuck people are like BRC, they're dead anyway yeah brc bum rushed the widows and pretty much like wow pretty much convinced Aww. them to do that and then they ended up being shipped to the military places do you think they sell bodies by the roll i could tell you how they sell them by, it's, it's by a sheet that's oh, what i was thinking because if you take body. skin maybe you could stretch it and you could cut into two pieces and then you make double money what if they have implants so oh like booby implants all kinds and the ass is those. more expensive than the arm yeah. you can legit sell i can tell you the price mm -hmm. list oh tell me yeah it's like a butcher shop so a whole body with no shoulders or head goes for 2,900. So that's just like a torso. That's a like, lot of money. Oh, legs too. Yeah, legs. That's pretty, yeah, that's a lot. A torso with a head is 2,400. Wait, what? When you Wait. throw the head in, it's cheaper? Well, I'm assuming it's without. I want the head though. Legs. Me too. I don't know. A whole spine goes for $950. Just the spine. A whole leg goes for $1,100. A whole foot is 450. A knee is three hundred and seventy-five. Are these prices negotiable? And a pelvis is four hundred dollars. They have a price list. It's just like you go there and you shop for your. I wonder what they use it for. Can can you use that to like? Oh, I need a new knee. Research. So there's. What's oh, all research? They do have like detailed transactions yeah. and where they go and like whose body part went where and how much it costs and all this stuff. And so. So they keep saying, records of that stuff. Yeah, they do keep records of it, but not everything, because they have been saying like after all this investigation that there's just still some body parts that they're like. The military about. experiment one makes me think Wolverine. Dude, oh. Did you know that in China they just did a. Uh, a human animal hybrid with a chimpanzee and a human. I heard about that. And it was born. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It was it was like it developed. They did it successfully, is what I'm saying. And then they aborted it. Yeah. But like pretty fucking crazy. That is that is what crazy. if it's That's oh a chimera, my Canada bro. the apes is gonna happen for real. Yeah. It's a monkey with Asian eyes. Uh yeah. It's a Chinese monkey. That's crazy. They did it on purpose in China, obviously, because of all the international um, issues with that shit. Wow. Where can you find these body parts? Is there a website? Can you look for a Chinese monkey? <laughs> Just to see what this guy looks like. Probably gonna no, be we're still on this story. Okay, fine. So I'll look on it on my own. Best, the agents discovered 10 tons of frozen human remains, which were about 1,755 1, total body parts that included 281 heads, 241 oh. shoulders, 337 legs and 97 spines. Mm. And so- There's what, a lot of people that die every year though. Yeah. I would hate to be the head counter. Oh, if I was no, part no. of the team, I'd rather count like a spine. But I'll volunteer so you know what's crazy too, after the investigation- I don't look at the face. They found that people working here had like little to no training and they were handling these body parts. So it was just like in a very unprofessional manner that they handled these 
like these human remains. Like they're just, they're just like fucking chuck, yeah, chuck yeah. it ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they even use like Home Depot like saws and shit. Like, oh, I thought you were gonna say like day laborers. <laughs> I mean, they just fucking come up with a truck at Home Depot. They're like, hey, amigo, come on. Oh, Me too, dude. Shit. Probably. You I wanna mean, count some cabezas? Yeah. Okay. You got a line of hectares just fucking throwing heads and shit. Like, is it oh. disrespectful to use Home Depot equipment? No, it's just not even <laughs> professional. Like, there's no like actual like surgical. Medical, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not surgical. A surgical saw versus like a. It's it's cheaper get, though. They you get like a weed whacker. That, yeah. Like, what's happening here? Okay. The problem with that is the fact that they can't actually get into disinfecting it, and so they're transferring diseases to other body parts. Mm. So when they're shipping them out to their clients, they're contaminating. Not, they're contaminating these body parts. That's another like. I wonder how they keep them part. fresh. They have to freeze them. So they freeze them and then they have to cut it like while it's frozen, like it's a butcher shop. Oh, I don't know to that extent. Ugh. But they, they probably have to saying? defrost it in the microwave before they they start cutting it. So after the agents raided Ugh. this place, like a health hazard, they took. 142 bags of bodies that had parts from at least 36 different people and they're saying that the agents involved in this investigation like some of them even got PTSD because the way that they had to just transfer these human remains to yeah. the freezers and like where their facility is like some of the bags like it was like all sloshy and oh like my. there was like leaking bags where it even stained some, one of the agents oh, it's decomposing already yeah it's a horror movie dude exactly and they're saying that they found body parts like sewn up together like a frankenstein oh my gosh yeah oh, that's crazy it's just insane like twisted things happening so can i ask you a question what let's say you're part of this team and then uh -huh. uh, like you carry in a bag full of body parts right mm -hmm. and then dick and balls fell on the ground how would you pick that up what do you mean? Like, how would you fell. pick it up? It, fell, it just fell down. Like, you're like, oh, Wait, fuck, it, it fell out of the bag. Dick and balls? Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's dick and balls just fell like out of the bag. Dick. Like, yeah. how would you it's like fall? Front, like, the balls are here, the yeah. dick is there. So you grab it like that? She's using her bare hands. It's disgusting. Did you grab it from the balls? Yeah, because I, I thought... No, I would obviously be having gloves. You wouldn't... You, some people grab by the shaft. No, I would grab... Or by, <laughs> or by the balls like this. The dick the will go here, and then I'll mm. grab that's it. That's how I was going to grab it, too. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably throw it at someone, just because. It's there. But you're an agent. Yeah, you gotta put it back in the bag and hurry up and throw it in the truck. Yeah, but maybe she's just razzing around with her bud, you know? Yeah. She's just razzing her bud. <laughs> And that's how that agent got PTSD. Or like, you go like that with addicted to your friends, your buddies. Oh, like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I got you, Jenkins. Oh, I fucking got you. That was a dick, by the way. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that, man. It's kind of wet, too. Look at that. Damn, that's crazy. But they were saying, like, it was just really <laughs> shocking um, and traumatizing well, seeing the way these human remains were being held. Like, I bet. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. That's, that's so fucking sad. gross. It's like a zombie movie. I know. It's me. Yeah, it's like. It's a bunch of body parts everywhere. Yeah, Especially cool. like the wrong parts sewn together? That's freaking weird. Watch your back, Jenkins! No, I'm just kidding. This is poor son of a bitch's back. Yeah. Ah. Watch your back. Ah, look at that. It doesn't even weigh anything. You know what? You're making it funny. I'm like, how the fuck do you make that funny? You're making it funny. No, I know. I, I, you know, that's the law enforcement that I see in movies. Yeah. yeah. So Where they're just, like, they do a drug bust and then they start fucking around with everything. They're so jaded, yeah. yeah. You know what's fucking crazy? When I worked at the hospital, um, one of the, there was this one patient that had a, a whole leg amputated. And then like the surgical tech, when he was coming into our department to bring in the, the used instruments for us to reprocess them, he showed me the leg because he was on the way to the incinerator. And I was like, what? Did he walk in with it next to his other leg? And he's like, what do you think? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got three legs. And he's like, and he's like, I guess technically I got four legs because I got a dick too. You know? No, it was on the cart. Was it sawed like perfectly even like that? I didn't like, examine it. Exactly. He just like flipped over the sheet because they put a sheet over because everything's fucking bloody and yeah, crazy yeah, and they yeah. had to walk down hallways. So they put a sheet over it. And so he just went like, hey, look. And they showed me the leg. I was like, Whoa. Damn, that's crazy. I think the people working there get so desensitized yeah. that they could start fucking around like that yeah. all day long. Oh, yeah. That's why he was laughing when he showed me the fucking leg. <laughs> but I'm like, damn, that's crazy. What was he doing with it? Was he jiggling it around, though? No, he just he just gave me a peek. It why wasn't, like, actually too? messing with it. I see. He didn't mess with it where it was like, nah, that's, that's too crazy. I but, see. But, yeah, so when they raided this place, they couldn't destroy the remains because it's part of the investigation. Oh my God. Um, they took them to these mortuaries to try to store them, but these mortuaries didn't have the proper kind of freezer, so then they started decomposing. Oh, oh gross. Yeah, so then they were like, fuck. I don't know, they had to There's figure so out a different bodies. solution. I mean, how do you get rid of 10 tons? So what then the they fuck? Did. So the family members that requested the remains of their loved ones, they were able- Canceled their orders? Oh. <laughs> 
What if you only, I would. What if after like, hearing about this? It's taking way too long. Hey, you just keep it. Like I heard they were kind of wet and like leaking in the bags. You just keep well, like, it. You get your you get your family member back and it's just a toe. Yeah. Or like a fucking foot. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, they don't give them the actual body parts. They cremate the the remains uh, and then give them remains to Yeah. Family. Wouldn't the cremation be like infected if the body parts are like infected? Like if, if they had some sort of like disease or something, why like I don't know, does it like dissolve? Would it disperse probably. some kind of chemical into the air? Yeah. Well, oh, if some it burned, it probably burned it away, I'm hoping. Uh, like, right? Yeah. It, but I understand why people would want that because cremation is expensive. It is? It is, yeah, my stepfather was cremated. How much was it, do you remember? Thousands of dollars. I thought that shit was cheap. Mm -mm. It was a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So. Takes a lot of gas, maybe. So I understand why people would be interested in like signing up for this. You know what I mean? Because they're like, oh, good, we save money. But that's so fucked up. I know. So are they getting sued or? Oh yeah, it's like this full on that? investigation thing going on. Like they got shut down. I wonder who was the mastermind who decided, <laughs> let's make money off of body parts. The FBI is involved here. Yeah, that's huge. Do you guys want to be buried or cremated? I think cremated. Surprise me. Do you have a special request for your ashes <laughs> part? Nope. I want mine to be um, dispersed all over Disneyland's like Main Street you, USA. You said, really? I do, yeah, just to fuck with You're me. an asshole. Cause I don't even like it. Shut up. My ex wanted to die just like that California Adventure or whatever the roller coaster one is. Oh wow. Yeah, it was fucked.